Dr. Mindy here, and I am back teaching you from my new book, Fast Like a Girl. It's ready for pre-order, and if you're as impatient as I am, um, I want to get the information now to you, and a lot of you have told me that, so I'm teaching you from the book now through my YouTube videos. So welcome if you're new. Just hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Come on this fasting journey with us. We are changing world, the world's health through principles of fasting, and in this video, I really want to talk about those of you that are struggling to bring your fat, your blood sugar down. What do you do? I understand. I hear you. I understand that's a that's a major issue. So let me tell you how you can bring your blood sugar down and why it's not coming down with something as simple as one or two weeks of fasting. Some of you maybe have been doing this even longer. So I have some very specific hacks in here that I'm going to read for you so you can master this now. So welcome. Let's dive in. Year the to a long world. fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Okay, so again, depending on when you get the book, on page 167, I have, let me see how many hacks I have for bringing your blood sugar down. I put in here five, nope, six different hacks. So I'm going to briefly go through all six. Um, one of the things that I've done in the book is really create lists. Uh, this is based, this book is based off my clinical experience guiding hundreds of thousands of women and men through the fasting experience. So these six hacks I know are tried and true. And for some of you, one of these hacks is going to work and for others, you're going to need to apply all six. So here we go. This is for those of you that are really trying to bring your blood sugar down and you're struggling. So here is hack. One, number one, hold on, I gotta get back to the page. You might need to fast longer. I know that's hard, like, you know, especially if blood sugar is high, but remember that it's when we get to a level where 15 hours is comfortable, 17 hours is comfortable, but we're not seeing the blood sugar changes that we want, then what we're gonna wanna do is try to throw some longer fasts at your body to help get rid of all the excess sugar that has been stored in your tissues. So remember, when we're fasting, the body has to break sugar down. So it goes to the liver, it goes to fat, it goes to your muscles to pull from its sugar reserves. If you have a lot of sugar reserves, then it has a lot to pull from. So on your meter, you're going to see that your blood sugar is, is staying higher than you would like it, even in a fasted state. When we go into those longer fasts, what happens is that we start to force the body to release more and more of that stored sugar. So with three-day water fasts, which we're going to do as a community at the first week of January, can't wait to show you that. Um, with those longer fasts, that um, can start to cause more of the release of the blood sugar, which ultimately makes your blood sugar levels on a consistent basis more within what we like to see it somewhere around 70 to 90 milligrams per deciliter in uh, Western standard um, measurements. So that's hack number one. Okay, hack number two. You guys have heard me talk about this, and that is vary your fasts. So this is really important because remember the idea is we want to create a hormetic stress and then kind of give the body a chance to adapt. When you're fasting 15 hours every single day, your body gets into a rhythm that it becomes comfortable with. But in order to get that blood sugar to come down, we need to make the body a little uncomfortable. So we do that by varying our fasts. 15 hours one day, 24 the next, 13 hours the next day, 48 the next. It's in that variation. It's like you're pushing in and you're, you're asking the body to adapt and then you're giving it a recovery. And then you're pushing in and asking it to adapt and you're giving it a recovery. So I talk about that in, in the book so you can see how to do that for you. Um, remember, varying your fast women needs to be done to your hormonal cycle, depending on where you are, even postmenopausal women, which is what the whole book is about. Okay, third hack is you want to avoid all, and I mean all processed foods. So one thing we've seen in our Reset Academy is that when you are eating a lot of foods that are packed with the bad oils, 
And this can happen even at nice restaurants. Um, when you are w looking at those bad, eating bad oils, eating a lot of refined carbs, refined sugar, it causes your blood sugar to go up too much. And it's interesting because when we come to fasting, we get so in love with how we feel that sometimes, and put it in the comments if this is you, sometimes what happens is we start to think that fasting is our major tool for health. I was having a conversation the other day with a friend who said she was starting to look at exercise different. She's at four, her, she just turned 40 and she was saying, you know, I feel like I used to exercise to keep my weight where I want it to be. And I'm now realizing that I exercise for my mental health. And, um, and I said, do you think that's because you're now fasting more and so your weight is no longer an issue for you? And she was like, yeah, actually, I, th I think that is what's happening. And what I, I tell you that to say that what I see on the fasting journey is that we get so many great results, we forget that something as simple as eating the wrong oils, having too many refined carbohydrates, could be causing a, more of a blood sugar spike than necessary. So make sure if you can't bring that blood sugar down, the first ing ingredient I would really go after is the bad oils. And I have lists of all the bad oils and good oils in here. I have a whole bunch of uh, appendices in here that you guys have can hopefully take to the grocery store and, and use um, if you need to or take pictures of that have lists of all these foods in there. So this, the third one is avoid all processed foods. Okay, fourth hack is love on your liver. So the liver is gonna make ketones. The liver is going, and the only way it knows to make ketones is blood sugar has to go down. So there is this switch from sugar burner to fat burner that requires your liver to be happy. So I put in here my favorite ways that you can love on your liver. Um, but it is the hardest working organ in your body. And if you haven't been supporting it, it may be something as simple as some of these liver hacks that I wrote in here to be able to, and, and to free your liver up to make that switch over and to making ketones and to be able to allow you to regulate your blood sugar. So you might need to love on your liver. Okay, hack number five. This one's a really good one support your adrenal glands. So the reason I really want to emphasize this is if you've been in a cortisol rich world and you're a rushing woman, uh, there is a chance that your adrenals are, are tired. Now, adrenals don't just wear out. It's not like they're an organ that, that we, this idea that adrenals are exhausted is a little bit of a, a myth. The adrenals are constantly communicating from the brain that the hypothalamus and pituitary have to tell the adrenals, hey, there's a crisis going on in here. We need to increase cortisol and decrease insulin. So I've talked about this. I talk about the hier ha hormonal hierarchy in here. So if you've been living a very rushed, stressed out life, it's possible that this feedback loop is constantly going. And you will know that it's constantly going because you react to stress very quickly. So you might need to be able to support that HPA access. And in the book, I give you some great ideas on supporting it. I will tell you that um, September, I just got done with like one of the craziest six week journeys for promoting the book. I've been at conferences and I read the audiobook and doing some audio courses for Hay House for you all. And I put a CGM on and I was blown away at how high my blood sugar was. It was un unreal. So, and I, I'm metabolically flexible, but there's a perfect example that I knew in this stressed period for myself that I need to backfill in and give myself a some more rest. So I've been taking, trying to take some more time off, been spending more time in nature, getting in my hyperbaric oxygen chamber, doing things to just rejuvenate myself so that I can balance my blood sugar better. So I looked at my CGM, which is a continuous glucose monitor. I saw that the blood sugar was, was going high and instead of turning within and going, oh, what am I doing wrong? Am I not eating the right foods? 
I said to myself, hey, this is a reflection that you need to support your adrenals, that stress is starting to affect you. So you can, when you know that and you interpret that, now you're empowered, you're not disempowered. And that comes from supporting your adrenals. And then the last piece, and this is a big one, is the last hack is you might have to remove toxins. Um, and I put, I give a lot of, of examples of obesogens in the book that you're gonna wanna avoid, but toxins will make you insulin resistant. Toxins will spike your blood sugar. I mean, think about this for a moment. It can be something as simple as you put on your favorite perfume that has chemicals in it, you breathe it in, and it creates a blood sugar spike or it makes it creates an insulin spike in your body. It's you know we don't it's not just food that's spiking glucose and insulin. Stress spikes it, toxins spike it, spike it, uh, exercise can spike it. Um, but I mean you we have to start to have this toxic conversation because we live in the most toxic time in human history. So there's a stab at my six hacks to help you all that have that blood sugar that's too high. Um, again, a lot more detail in the book. Um, the book is ready for pre-order. We're giving away a ton of, of uh, bonuses right now for you all. Uh, the bonus that we're giving away in November is five free memberships to my Reset Academy, year-long memberships. So when you pre-order the book, you can go to fastlikeagirl.com backslash pre-order and you just send us a message there that you pre-ordered it, that you follow the instructions, and you will um, be entered in to win a year in my Reset Academy. I've never done this before. That is a $450 value, and um, there's a heck of a community in there. Oh my gosh, I wish I could show you the amazing women that are in this academy. This community has rallied around each other. We, we literally just did a three-day water fast together and just the hearts, the support. Um, you're not just joining a course when you, when you get this, um, this uh, membership, if you're one of the lucky few to win it. You're not just, it's not just information that I'm giving you in the academy. I've really surrounded you with a support system. So for the lucky five that win, amazing. Um, I'm so excited to see you in the academy. And from the bottom of my heart, you all have been amazing at, uh, at your comments around Fast Like a Girl. The pre-orders have been incredible. Hay House has been so in awe of, of all the, the community we've created around this. And so I can't wait to get this book in your hand. I have so many amazing things set up for you to make sure that not only are you receiving a book, but you are launching yourself onto an amazing, amazing health path. I didn't put a book out into the world just to entertain you all. I put a book out into the world to change your life. And that's what this book's gonna do. So from the bottom of my heart, I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. And I hope that answers your blood sugar question. Let me know if any of you are still confused on it, put it in the comments. I'll make sure that, um, that we get, get you the answers. So there you go, Fast Like Girl, it's ready. And there's my six hacks for bringing your blood sugar down. Hope it helps.